This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that highlights geometry border edges. This is a simple script, but it can save you a lot of modeling time, so let's check it out. So a problem I run into when I'm modeling is I will, for example, let's say mirror half of an object constantly or just mirror parts of a model, and then I'll select the two models and I'll combine them, and then I'll do like a weld verts on the whole model by going up to Edit Mesh and then just doing a merge and then saying OK. And then later down the road, what I'll find out is that actually some of those verts were like a little bit too far away and they weren't quite merged. And finding that out is actually like really annoying and pretty tedious. And so what you can do is you can turn on poly count display here and then you can, you know, drag select over a vert and you can see how many do I have selected here? It says that I have one vert selected. And then later down the road, what I'll find out is some of those verts actually weren't welded. See these verts here? There's actually a hole there, and that'll cause me problems like a day later or hours later or something. And it's just like really frustrating, and I couldn't find a, like an easy way to determine if the weld had actually been successful. Sometimes you can just up the weld tolerance, but I've also found upping the weld tolerance will sometimes weld verts that shouldn't be welded together together, or maybe like collapse your bevels or something like that. So that can also be tricky. Just going to hit undo here to undo that movement. And so what I've been doing for like 100 years is I've been going into wireframe mode and I've been dragging over both of these with the heads up display turned on. And you can see it says I have two verts selected and then I can drag over this one and it's got two and it's got two. Oh, that one's got one. And that's just a really painful process. What I want is just a visual way to show the border edges of all the geometry so I can just see immediately what didn't weld up, what was unsuccessful when I did the weld. And so I created a little tool that does exactly that. It'll highlight all of the geometry border edges that are not welded and are open. So all you have to do is select your model and then just come up here if you own the Mega Pack and click the Find GB, Find Geometry Borders. So I'm going to click that. And boom, it's going to select these are the edges that failed to weld. So those are all the unwelded verts. So there's actually a hole there in your mesh. And you can be in object mode and click it and it'll select those. And it tells you, oh, it found six edges that are still open. Or you can be in any component mode. So you don't even need to like jump out of the mode. If you're here in vert mode and you click it, it'll still do the selection correctly for you. So that has saved me countless hours of work because now as I'm modeling stuff, I can just check any mesh for errors by simply clicking this button. And then I'm like, oh, there shouldn't be a hole there. Why aren't my UVs welding up there? Why is my model like looking corrupt there? Why is my normal weird? Why is my sub D model not rendering correctly there? And it's all because those verts aren't welded. And now we can visually see those with a click of a button. So what the tool does is it just highlights anything that is an open edge. So I'm just going to select some faces here and I'll just delete those and then I'll click the find GB and see it's just going to highlight wherever there is like a vertice without a face attached to it. So you can see here we've got a hole, here we've got a couple unwelded verts. So if we come in here, we can use that to debug and error check those and be like, oh, we got to weld that stuff back together. It looks like that one didn't quite fall into the tolerance. If we deleted half the model, whoops, like this, delete that and delete that and then click the find GB. It would find the bottom as well because now that's an open face. So just a super helpful tool, really simple, but I use this all the time as I'm working through a model and I need to error check to see, have I gone crazy or do I have some unwelded vert somewhere? I'm just gonna delete this mesh here and then let's go up into create and we'll go polygons, uh, let's make a sphere. So the other really cool thing about this tool is it is extremely fast and performant. So I'm just gonna get the history here and let's say, I don't know, 128 by 128. Eight. So we can make a really dense mesh. There we go. And the tool will perform really quick. So even though we've got like a much denser mesh here, I'm going to click the button and boom, it's still instantaneous to find those unwelded verts or find the holes in your model. So this can be good for like high poly models. It can be good for character models. It can be good for large environment stuff. So it's pretty robust. Let's just make it even higher poly and see what the speed is here. So let's go edit mesh, add divisions. Okay, divisions of one. So that's a pretty dense mesh already. Like you can almost not see the wireframe through it. And we'll click the button. 
and it takes exactly the same amount of time. So it's really nice. That command is pretty much instantaneous. So you can kind of run this on any mesh you want and check where your errors are. Oh, it looks like I deleted a hole in the back too because I did a marquee select. So it found that as well. So that's cool. So another cool feature of the script is I've actually built a right-click menu into this. So if you right-click the button, you can choose merge and find geometry borders. So that's going to merge the verts with a 0 0.01 tolerance and then also run the find geometry borders. So if we run it on this, you can see these are obviously moved apart just for demonstration purposes. So we'll click it, merge it, and it's like, nope, they didn't merge. Here's the stuff that's selected. So I'm going to select that edge and I'm going to fix it. I'm going to move it there. And now I'm going to click the right click and go merge and find. And see, it's not going to find anything. And that's because these edges have been merged. So it's a really nice error checking tool. So if we just undo that, let's go back to this here. And then I'm just going to delete this face here just so we have a geometry border. And then I'm going to fix this by moving it within the tolerance. And then I'm going to right click and say merge and find. And so it's welding those and not finding them and then finding this because it's open. So that can also be super helpful as well. You can just do a weld on your whole model and then it will visually show you here are your problem areas or here are the open areas that you want to be open. So super helpful. The right click menu also has the merge if two are selected, always merge. So if we just had these two vert selected and we did the right click, do the merge and find, it's going to merge those two and it's going to find the other ones. So a little bit of flexibility there for how you work as well. On top of that, I've also built this functionality into the existing mirror tool. So I'm just going to launch the mirroring tool here. And you can see by default, it's got a new checkbox that says find GB. And so every time we do a mirror and merge, it's going to try to find the geometry border edge. So that can be super helpful, save a lot of time. So if we just do a regular mirror along Z here, it's not going to do anything. Sure, because it's a separate object because we didn't tell it to do anything. So I'm just going to delete that. But if we were to do a mirror plus merge, it's going to mirror the object. It's going to weld the verts. And then it's also automatically going to find the geometry border edge to tell you if the mirror was successful. So if we move the pivot over here a little bit so it can't actually weld up the verts here, watch what happens. So merge, find GB, mirror Z, click it. It does the mirror. It's a single object but it tells you, hey, these didn't weld up. So this has been a real lifesaver for me because I was having a lot of problems on the level that I was just working on where things were slightly not welded. Like I couldn't really see it was a really large scale. So I was having to work like really zoomed out or whatever. And I would click this and I would be like, oh, it didn't weld up. Oh, okay, that's going to screw me later. So I'm going to go and fix that right now. I've turned that on by default because it just seems like everyone would want to know that after they do their merge if it worked or not and the verts welded. But you can turn it off if you prefer. So you can still do a merge with it off and then mirror Z and then it'll do it. It'll make one object. It just won't tell you that there's an error there. So however you like to use it. There's actually a built-in way inside of Maya by default to show you the border edges, but it has a two fatal flaws, I would say. So if you go and select your object and open up the attribute editor and you go to, where is it? Display mesh component display and then display edges. You can say display borders and it will highlight those. The problem is it highlights them in green. And as far as I know, you can't change the color of this. So this is like not helpful at all when you're like, working on a scene like this, a big scene or whatever, and everything's the same color, it doesn't really help to highlight it. You can increase the width by doing the border edge and it'll make it thicker. And that can kind of be helpful sometimes, but I just find it so much better to highlight it in pink. So it's a different color. I just find this tool really hard to use. I've tried to use it in the past. It's very painful to me. The other annoying part about that is that if you create a new object, and you delete a face, you have to go into each one of your objects or go into preferences and, you know, set the whatever the mesh component display each time on each object or set a global preference or whatever. And sometimes when I'm modeling, I don't actually want to see that stuff. That's the other annoying part, right? Like, I don't want to see a super thick edge on this model just so I can debug it like after the fact. I'd much rather just see my viewport the way that I like it. Delete that guy, turn that off. 
So see everything normal the way that I normally like it. And when I want to see the geometry border edge, I just click this and then it highlights it and it's really clear. It also selects it too, which is nice. So you could actually just work directly on it there if you wanted to. If you've already purchased the Megascript pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack or you can get it in the Megascript pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a superb day.